Hello everyone, and welcome back to Okami. So the the lucky mallet uh, that we got in the ship on the last episode seems to be leading us in this direction. I assume it's leading me back towards the Emperor's room, where we will make our way through that crack in the wall that we saw. That does appear to be the case so far. Oh, and we're still missing these fox rods. They were not in the ship that um, Priestess Rao was pretty sure it was going to be on. So I assume that either the water dragon took them or someone else did? I don't know. We'll find out later. Hey, <laughs> now we got you cornered, you, you mallet. No treasures ever escaped from the great east soon. I'm going to sell you some greeting merchant and... Hmm? Hey, wait. Check it out, Ami. Isn't this the palace where the swirling mist is... Yeah, where the swirling mist is coming from? Sure is. I, you can tell by the giant cloud of swirling mist coming out of it. You made us chase you here for a reason, Mallet? Wait, I think I get it. The lucky Mallet can shrink people, right? You want to shrink on here. Then you want us to go into that creepy-looking hole, don't you? I don't know. Why would Hammerhead here want us to go in there? Still, it might be worth checking out, Ami. I mean, this place has got to be the source of that mist. Yeah, as, again, as evidenced by the, the mist pouring out of it. If Queen Himiko's not going to do anything about this mess, then it's up to us to find out the truth. Anyway, we haven't found a single brush technique in this darn city. Yeah, I thought there was going to be one on that ship, but, uh, no. Oh well. How could we possibly, up, uh, blip, blip, uh, how could we possibly pass up this palace? Okay, Mallet. We'll enter the hole. Now, come on and work your magic on Furball here. Ready to get hammered on me? Uh, sure. Ready to get hammered. Yeah, that's the actual prompt. Alright. Now that's what I want over here. Furball's all yours, Mallet. Not gonna lie, I thought it was actually gonna boop us, but nope. Just sort of lightly sprinkled magic mallet dust on us, I guess. Whoa. Me? <laughs> you should see the look on your face. A few shakes of a lucky mallet reduces things to my size. It's not for clowering people or anything, silly. Boy, I'll never get tired of messing with your head. I hope you do. Huh? What's gotten into you? You forgot what I looked like already? I can't see you. You just look like a little black glowing speck to me. Now you listen here, Furball. You better remember me this time or else. I'm Isun, the Wandering Artist. You got it? Fancy. Time to thousand. No. We're just Amaterasu divided by a thousand, right? Besides, I'm so dashes, dashingly handsome. Who else could it be? You look like a small child, to be honest. Uh, but you see me in a new light now. Yeah, I mean, it, it, there is a new new quality to the light here. Hey, I'm talking to you. Nah, forget it. Let's check out the palace. We gotta find out what's behind that swirling mist. You may be no bigger than a dust bunny now, but I bet you still got a lot of fight in you. That I do! Well, time's a-wasting, but there's something you need to know first. I mean, this is like a brand new world to you. I'm here to help you when you really need it. For example, see that chest all wrapped in chains over there? If you want, you, or if you can if you can kindly over to it with your celestial brush, I'll pop on over and snatch whatever's inside. Come on, let's try it out right here. Oop. Now that's what I'm talking about. Nothing stands in the way of my trusty sword, Denkomaru. But listen up, I don't want you getting any funny ideas. 
I may be one mean sucker, but don't go launching me at monsters. I mean, I just might lose it if you did that. Yeah, I have to clean up my bloody aftermath. Okay, now that everything's clear, let's get going. Uh, so you, you... You... Can't do anything against monsters? Okay. That was close. Better watch out, Ami. Remember, you're no bigger than a dust bunny now. Remember, uh, better watch it or we'll end up on the bottom of someone's shoe. Hehe, <laughs> now you know what I have to deal with. Anyway, this mist is getting thicker, isn't it? I knew there was something fishy about this palace. Yeah. I mean, again, the giant cloud of swirling green mist was kind of a giveaway. Alright. Well, regardless, let's continue. Hello. So he said don't launch him at enemies, but I'm going to. Great. Good job. See that, Ami? That's what they call a blocking spider. Those nasty buggers won't let you by sometimes. They normally leave you alone, but they can be unpredictable. Better watch their moves. Better safe than sorry. Do I just... Whoa, whoa, why'd you hit your ride? Tired of walking or something? Well, big guy here doesn't seem to mind, so knock yourself out. Uh, actually, I was kind of planning to just, like, keep going, but... Oh! I, I guess I screwed that up. Oh well, that's fine. Hey, what's that? Sounds like someone's crying. Sure does. That's probably the girl that got locked away on Justly that they were talking about earlier. It was like a couple episodes ago now. Uh, isn't that a jail cell? Someone's in there! But I can't tell who she is. She's got her back turned. They usually turn out to be ugly when they turn around anyway. Plus, we don't want to attract any attention if she raises a fuss. Forget about her. Let's keep going. Yeah, but when she turns out to be pretty, you're going to be all over her, huh? Godly charm. Okay, cool. Can you do it to normal chest too? Nope, just the chained ones. It has been a while since I played, so I don't remember how the story goes exactly. But I do hope he has like a Midna style thing where he starts off pretty nasty and frankly annoying. <laughs> <laughs> and gets less so over time. We'll see. Uh, hi. How are you? Am I supposed to be doing something here? Yeah, I don't know what I was supposed to do about the time there, because as far as I can tell, they're just invincible if you don't have the move to, to counter them. Am I supposed to hitch a ride? Is that how this works? Nope. Nope, 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 no, it does not work that way, no. Okay, duly noted. Uh, then let's see what's in that, that hole over there. Maybe I'm supposed to use exorcism slips against those guys. I don't know. Guess it doesn't bother me too much. What is going on? I am I am not pressing my my brush button there. Oh, 
Yeah, but don't treat us like dirt just because we don't like baths. What do you mean, we? I don't think we're gonna get by this clean freak. What are what he's trying to protect? Uh, it's that little roach that's been running around lately. No, wait, I think it's that dung beetle from the bathroom. Yuck! This guy's got a lot of nerve. Yeah, what do? It's like an exorcism arrow, but I don't seem to be able to get to it. Maybe I have to come at it from the other side. Mm, then again, maybe not. Uh, maybe these count as enemies and I need... I need to use my exorcism slip? No. Mm, no comprendo. Maybe I can use his feet to lift me up? Well, it worked at any rate. Encounter a demon gate earlier? I don't I don't remember seeing one. But I mean we have a key now, so I guess let's go and find one. Hello, is somebody there? Hmm? Are you mallet bears? It's hard to see from here. Mallet bearers? What the heck are you talking about? Oh, who are you? Oh, uh, just a couple of passers-by. Are you that girl we heard crying before? It sounded kind of fake if you ask me. Dude. You're not some no-good monster trying to trick us, are you? What? Oh. No, at least I don't think so. I came to Seance City to sell some of my grandfather's bamboo ware. Oh. Didn't... Uh, but the emperor who lives in this palace had me arrested. Yeah, didn't Mr. Bamboo say something about his granddaughter coming to sell bamboo in the city for like a festival or something? Maybe I misremembered that, but... Uh, your grandfather's bamboo ware? Uh, is your grandpa that Mr. Bamboo back in Kusa Village? You know my grandfather? He raised me back in Kusa Village. My name is Kaguya. We've heard that name before, haven't we? That sounds familiar, anyway. But I'm afraid that's all—that's about all I can tell you. I don't know why I've been imprisoned here. I don't even know who I really am or where I originally came from. Uh, another babe. God. How could Mr. Bamboo have such a cute granddaughter? I mean, she just implied that he adopted her, is how. So... Well, you just sit tight, honey pie. We'll get you out. The great Isun's gonna straighten out that mean old emperor. Then I'll come back and set you free. No, I, um... Don't sweat it, sweetie. You just sit tight. We're gonna search every nook and cranny of this palace. Uh, and I'm gonna give that emperor... A piece of my mind when he when we find him. So don't you worry, your pretty little head. There you go. My partner may not look like much now. Shut up. But Furball here is actually the great Amaterasu. Okay, but they've kind of implied that like Amaterasu isn't really a big name in this world, I guess. Like some people know who Amaterasu is, but most people are either familiar with Shir Shiranui or just not familiar with her at all. So I don't know if the great Amaterasu really means anything to her. Oops, I forgot to read that. My bad. Well, let's go anyway. Nope, that's the wrong way. Uh, 
I, I do notice that she recognized that we had the mallet with us. Hey, there we are. So that's interesting. I wonder why that would be. But I guess there's only one way to find out, and that's to, you know, hit the prescribed checkpoints and let the story progress. Those cicada shells. Gross. Meow. Hmm. Jackpot! <laughs> Why did the Emperor hide his treasure here? I could smell it a mile away. Check out that funny looking thing, Ami. What's, that's what they call a platformer spider. You see, they just go back and forth like that all day. How convenient. Uh, why do they do that? <laughs> They're basically harmless unless you stay on their backs too long. Some of them don't like it and may end up throwing you off. Alright, uh, duly noted. I guess we're exploring this place now. Nice. Ooh, it's all big. Like it should be. Although I don't think it's scaled correctly, but whatever. <laughs> That's fine. Is it even worth it, flacking all these acorns? No. But maybe. See, some of them have goodies in them. Uh, I noticed that's the same symbol that was on the, uh, the little area where we dropped in. Does that mean anything? Oh, these acorns are for their trail. They're leaving me here. Got it. Ooh, piece of candy. Ooh, piece of candy. <laughs> and even then, I I didn't even realize that's that's what I was supposed to be looking at there. A flask? Is that considered treasure? Uh oh. Um. That's a blocking spider, Ami. Yeah, you, you mentioned that. wonder why they got so bent out of shape on a, at a, 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 all of a sudden. But now we're going to have a heck of a time getting out of here. We sure are. Uh, so I guess let's figure out how to proceed with that heck of a time. Easy. What? Okay, guess we're in here now. Hey, Ami, there's a strange mist in this flask, too. But it's somehow different from that mist outside. I don't know, it feels kind of comforting. I get it, you're trying to blow this mist outside, but you'll never get outside if you draw it in that direction. Right, got it, okay. So I guess this mist will intoxicate the spider. Or it just disappears. Wow, you're getting good at that one. Almost too good. I don't know why the Emperor hid this flask here. But he shouldn't be hogging such comforting mist all to himself. Hey, it's that starlight again. What's it doing here? Vibin', as the kids say. <laughs> it do be vibing, though. I couldn't tell what that was. I also wasn't paying that much attention. Oh, it looks like a cow with a flask on its back. Oh, a sheep. A sheep with a flask on its back.
getting high on your own supply, are you? That's why you don't do that. Yeah, that could have gone a little better, I think. But I, I think I get the idea. Ah, Amaterasu, origin of all that is good and mother to us all. After our separation, I took to wandering the corners of the earth. Before long, I was sealed away here by a sinister power. Your arrival has broken that seal. Now I, Kasugami, grant you the power of mist. Listen over all creation like fleeting dew. Alright, will do. <laughs> so that's why the Emperor hid this flask like it was treasure. Kasugami, the god of mist, was trapped inside. They say Kasugami can wrap the world in a thick mist that slows down time for all things. I really did feel like I was in a dream world with no sense of time. But enough of that. That's one awesome power you just got back, Ami. If the legend's true, that brush technique can slow down... that guy. Any monster with a single stroke, even a blocking spider. Let's try out that new power of yours right away, Ami. Mm, okay. Uh... Gotcha. Just draw the mark that's there on the flask. That'll show that pesky spider who's boss. Oops. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I know, but I was waiting for it to go back up. Yeah, I know. Thank you. Well, what the? The blocking spider slowed down. That really is Kazugami's legendary time-slowing technique. Wow, Ami, you really packed quite the arsenal of techniques. Blocking spider should be a piece of cake from now on. We'll slow down anything in our way, no matter how fast it is. I figured out something else, too. The Emperor must have a screw loose or something. I mean, why would he possibly want to stop, want to trap Kasugami in there? But it has everything to do to, with that swirling mist out there. Well, yeah, you only just figured that out? Get dunked on. Or, I guess, get misted on? Ow. Come on. What's going on? Why is that not working? There we go. Eh, whatever. It works. Sorry, I thought I was in a cutscene. <laughs> uh, great! Oh, now I'm supposed to use that on the sweepy guy and uh, get past him while he slowed down, I assume. That sounds pretty reasonable to me. I, I'm still, like... <laughs> the I know we've heard the name Kaguya before. It definitely sounds familiar, but I I don't I don't remember where we heard it before, and maybe some of you, maybe someone in the comments uh, knows where it was and is frustrated because I don't remember something that was pretty pretty apparent. Oops, let's not do that. I don't know. Maybe I'll remember before they tell me. If they tell me at all. I don't know. Nice. Oh, good. I was afraid it was going to put me all the way back at the beginning. Uh, 
Well, that appears to be the Emperor spewing out mist. Hey, look over there, Ami. Isn't that the Emperor? I heard that he was sick in bed. But I never expected him to be the source of that funky mist. Uh, now how are we going to straighten this royal oaf? I mean, he's still big, too big to fit through his mosquito net. Dang, must be a good mosquito net then. Easy peasy. I don't like that there's a gate right here though. A golden arch. No, that's copyrighted. Can't use that. Whoa, okay. Alright, fine. I'll use the power. Super fast. Uh. Ooh, goodness. Check it out, Ami. The Emperor's directly below us. It's like the Royal Oaf's mouth that's just begging to, us to dive on in. Yeah, great. Looking forward to it. Are we going inside the Emperor now? Yes, we sure are. Are we inside the Emperor's body now? Well, I mean, you're one fearless wolf. This should be the fastest way to get to the root of the problem. Hey, what's that funny looking thing here? Oh, I know. It's that dangly thing that hangs down at the back of the throat. I bet if we tickle it, this royal loaf would sneeze. That's probably our best bet for getting out of here. But let's save that for later. We're going the other way now. Yeah, that would make sense. Um, I'd like to find a save point. There's one. Uh, okay, cool. So let's uh, let's go ahead and save this apparently new dungeon for the next episode. Where I mean, this this took quite a turn. We kind of Jabu Jabu's bellied our way into uh, solving this problem, uh, but we will have to save solving that problem for the next episode. So until then, see you later.